I was 19, a professional skateboarder. I've got money in the bank. My name's on my skateboard, on my wheels. It's on my pants, it's on my shoes, there's tech decks, there's all kinds of games coming out. Life is all about me and I'm gonna hang on to it at all costs. I'll give anything to be right where I am because life to me is all about Brian. I grew up in Liverpool, England. Roughness on the streets, there's a toughness, it's just the typical kids getting in fights, this and that. So skating was a way out of that life, a way out of what could have been the area that I was raised in. You fast forward a bit, there I am, I'm 15. I've been skating a few years, I've won contests, I've been traveling around England a lot, amazing group of kids that I grew up skating with, and now I'm in the magazines enough, I'm getting noticed enough. All these dreams as a teenager of what I could be, looking in the magazines, now it's coming true in my life. The guys I looked up to, I was skating with them, I was around them, all these tricks that I wanted to do, I was able to do, I was getting better and better and better. At the age of 19, uh, numerous things happened that were important in my life. For one, I fell madly in love with a girl called Tracy, and I also turned professional. The checks are getting bigger and bigger. I've never had to work to begin with, and now there's you know hundreds of thousands of dollars coming in a year. What could possibly change? It's all about me. I'm loving it, and life's looking good. Things just began to change overnight. Now I'm fighting with this woman, and I'm calling her names. I would want no one to call my mother. We're just all over the place. I mean, my fists going in the walls. And as sad as it is, before long, I mean, within just a year or two of being together, like so many other statistics, we'd file for divorce. And now it's suddenly like, okay, if I'm gonna just have a life that's sad and hurtful, why am I even living? Why does it even matter? And I began to just question everything. And it was in this time that I'm still fighting with my wife. I'm still angry. I'm still having a great time in skating, it would seem. I don't want to live, and I'm beginning to read about God in the Bible. I've been invited to a church in Huntington Beach, California, and as I went to that church that night, along with what everyone else had said, he preached out of the book of Galatians, and preached out of Matthew 7, 21, all about my sin, all about my being dead, all about my needing a savior, and it was right where I was thinking. It was like God was just reading my mail, knew where I was, and it was that night after church, after being confronted, my sin, where I was, and my cry out for help, that I went home and started praying. I went home and got before God and said, I need help. And he showed up and helped me. I spent 40 minutes that night on my face before the Lord. I felt the presence of God show up. It was like just this spiritual moment just hit my heart, transformed my mind, the lights were on. I just, it, it just, that was it, I got it. It was that moment that night that Jesus Christ saved me and forever transformed my, my purpose and the goal of my life. And life for me became very different. You know, I was remarried soon after to the same woman. If I had everything in this world, I'd give it all up to follow Christ. That's who he is to me today, he's my Lord and Savior. I am Brian Sumner and I have been ransomed.